I was hoping to use my new camera, but of course that never pans out. It's like I charge the batteries, and then if I don't use them right away, they go ft. It is Friday. August... August what? I don't live by dates. August 6th. What a week. I don't know if you know this, but so much happened this week. Okay, so, um, Alex and everybody was playing D&D &D on Saturday. And we kept hearing this banging noise, and we didn't know what it was. This building literally exploded. It's like five blocks from my house. No, it's not. It's like ten blocks from my house. And there was a welding shop, an agriculture shop, and something else. And the whole thing, like, blew up. Somebody left, like, a welding torch on or something. I don't know how you leave a welding torch on. The building blew up, and we could hear it from here. And we're just like, eh, well, I don't know what that is. Like, there's, like, all these bangs. Because literally, like, all these cans, like, <laughs> Anyway, so the firefighters got it controlled. They put it out. Three cheers for firefighters. You guys have one of the toughest jobs on the planet. And I want to personally thank you because you guys are risking your lives fighting those 300 fires we have here. So, way to go firefighters. I could not do your job. Um, anyways, so out of their control, all of that water mixed with all those chemicals ended up in this little stream. The stream, of course, ended up in Okanagan Lake. And so now there's contaminated water in the lake and it's killing fish totally out of their control. They did their best to try and get rid of it. They're closing off beaches. They're not letting people swim. Besides that, more importantly, worldwide, um, there are a few things I want to talk about besides the food thing. The food thing, you know what, I think, I think I would still eat it anywhere. I don't know. I mean, Chinese food, maybe not. Sushi, I could live on. Like, I don't care where it's from. I could live in Japan and eat all their food and it would not bother me in one bit. But, I bet you it changes somewhere. Prop 8 was overturned. It was deemed against their civil rights. And I know we don't talk about our political views on here a lot because we wouldn't want to cause conflict. Um, but I am personally one for the side of equality. But I think that everybody should be allowed to get married to whomever they want to get married to. I mean, in Japan, you got people marrying video games. So why can't a guy marry a guy? I mean, true love has no boundaries. Anyways, and besides that, there's this really cool thing. Uh, there's this little boy in Vancouver who has uh, muscular dystrophy. And through, they found out he has about a one year live. And through a uh, Wish Foundation, the internet banded together because he has a Twitter. Banded together, raised money, and sent him on his dream journey to New York to go see Central Park. I don't know if you heard about this. Anyways, they get to Central Park, and his wheelchair is destroyed. Air Canada completely destroyed his wheelchair. And it's a custom-built wheelchair built especially for him. Needless to say, his mom gets on the phone, his aunt gets on the Twitter, and whatever, and the whole internet explodes. Air Canada's stocks go down 5%. You know, everybody's angry, everybody's donating and donating chairs, and I just think it's so cool how our internet community can band together to help this little boy. Eventually, Air Canada apologized, they gave in, they fixed the chair somehow. He said, well, we had to fix it because you can't just buy a chair off the shelf, blah, 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 and now Air Canada is going to give them a free trip to Disneyland. Well, I don't know how they're going to get the free, you know, passes, but... They better find a way, or else whoosh, your stocks are going down. The internet has power. There's another thing that happened today, this week, and I can't remember what it was. Um, Doctor Who. Okay, the more you talk about it, the more I get nervous, because... Uh, okay, one, I, holy crap, you're nine years older than me. I did not know that. Not that it matters. I don't care how old any of you are. Doctor Who. I might try and watch it. I'm afraid it might be a little overrated, but overrated I'm afraid that it might be a little bit overly dramatic I asked somebody here what they thought about Doctor Who and they said it was made for 13 year olds so I'm a little scared I don't do well with that sort of age group especially when it comes to Twilight yes Harry Potter um yes 
this is a chip. I'm going to eat it. And that's the kind of day it's been this Friday, August 6th. We'll see you tomorrow at 11 o'clock. No, we won't see you tomorrow. Uh, we will see Deb, though, this weekend. See you soon, Deb.